brutal. It's absolutely brutal to what's happening to one of the greatest players in NHL history. While Sidney Crosby is still performing near the top of his game, the man ownership brought in to make sure that Crosby was provided with all the support he needed to continue to win, the man who signed one of the richest management deals in NHL history stood idly by and said, show me what you can do as you are. And if you show me enough, then I'll bring in some help for you. So how's that plan worked out? The severely undermanned Pens have now just lost three straight, including a humiliating 6-1 loss at the hands of the Edmonton Oilers. The Pens are now 10 points out of a playoff spot with just six weeks left in the regular season. It's all but officially over. Is the bigger picture maybe settling into the trade deadline so close and, you know, three straight losses and, and this one, you know, is that picture sort of emerging in here? I mean, the deadline date hasn't changed and we still need to get points. So, um, yeah, I don't know what picture you're talking about, but, you know, it's the same situation it was yesterday. Crosby's Crosby, so he's not going to throw anyone under the bus no matter what. But can you imagine the frustration he's feeling right now? Make no mistake, Crosby isn't going anywhere. He's already made it very clear, even though he's only got the rest of this year and next left on his current deal, he's not leaving Pittsburgh. He fully intends on finishing out his career as a Pittsburgh Penguin. But while he's not going to say it publicly, you can't help but think he's feeling completely abandoned. And he's left wondering, where's the help? For almost 20 years now, we've watched Sidney Crosby do some amazing things. Three Stanley Cups, two Olympic gold medals, a world championship, a World Cup, a world junior title, and even now at 36, he's still one of the best in the game. He's still top 10 in the league in scoring. He still leads the Pens, and it's not close. He's on pace for a third 40-goal-plus season of his career. His best goal-scoring pace in eight years. He can still do it. We're all left saying, what a waste. What a brutal waste. Because while Crosby has killed himself to stay at the top of his game, Penguins management, now headed up by Kyle Dubas, is going to let that all go for naught. The Pens hired Dubas to lead their organization. It's true, he was handed a bit of a mess. That's why he got the job. But ownership thought it was salvageable. All they needed was a man with a plan, and they believed he could rebuild around Crosby and give him the kind of support he needed so he could continue to win. They gave Dubas huge cash, an almost unheard of seven-year deal, and full autonomy to do what he felt he needed to get the job done. The result, at least in the short term, nothing short of an unmitigated disaster. The Pens are now set to miss the playoffs for consecutive years for the first time since Crosby's rookie season. I'm sure Dubas will tell you he didn't want to mortgage the future. And in most situations, that makes sense. But this isn't most situations. This is Sidney Crosby, one of the greatest of all time. It's true the Pens don't have a first-round pick this season, but they do have five picks in the seven rounds this year. They've got 19 picks over the 21 rounds of the draft over the next three seasons. So the draft pick cupboard, it's almost full. Yes, they can hold on to those picks, but what are the chances any one of those picks will be ready to make a real contribution at the NHL level while Crosby is still around and making the kind of impact he's making right now? Sure, if you move some of those picks, it could hurt you down the road. That's called a rebuild. The Pens are going to go through a rebuild. That is going to happen. But do you really want to do it while Crosby is still around? Or do you use those picks now and turn them into players that can contribute right now? There's a lot of good talent out there looking for a new home. Guys that can contribute right now while Crosby is still Crosby. So what do you think of the way Kyle Dubas and the Pens are handling this current situation. You've heard what I think. Now it's time to hear from you. I'm really curious to hear what you've got to say about all this.